right. Aging silver pellet. All right, exhibit A. The uh, place is uh, pretty much shut down. Got all the water drained. Well, the hot water tanks. One of them still draining, but probably just trickling there now. Got all the traps drained. Found them all again. This year. Got, I always kind of forget where everything is. So when you're like trying to drain out all the water and all the pipes and everything like that. Uh, we're going to leave the heat on for another two days and then uh, just to make sure everything's really dried out. Drain the dishwasher, drain the, the washing machine, all the toilet bowls, all that stuff. Uh, all the sinks, all the traps. underneath. Uh, most of them are out underneath the cottage or house. It looks like a cottage, but it's actually their house, right? So, so we got that done. And I made a major score. I got a whole bunch of... Uh, Diet Pepsi's, ugh, but yeah, they were free. And what was it? Ah! <laughs> the hell? I can't see. This will make things better. Uh, look. Like, why? Why? Like, I don't look here. Why? Pay f good money for this vehicle, a whole 400 bucks, and the windshield wipers are like that. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I can't believe it. That divert heat to me. But anyway, yeah, so, oh, update on the 0-3-4 uh, chainsaw. I didn't break it. <laughs> I didn't break it. Uh, it. It was, best case scenario, what I thought it could be. It was just a bolt came off in the exhaust, rattling around. I thought that's what it was, but you never know, and he's like, oh yeah, I did that before. He goes, uh, so I might still get it off him. It's a 60cc saw, and the price is right. It ran good. It ran really good. It cut really well. So if I can't get Tree Kong, maybe I'll get uh, that thing. And 60cc's is plenty. I mean, that's a, like 60cc's, I know, for the guys working out in BC, and so that's not a big saw for them. But like for most people, that's more saw. That's too much saw. Like you, usually, like, you don't like around here. Fifty cc's will do just about everything. <laughs> you know what I mean? You'd be surprised what you can cut with a fifty cc saw. But anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's good. I was going to ask him. I said, you know, like, do I owe you anything, Brick? Because uh, you know, like, if I broke it, I would pay for it. You know. But uh, if the price is right, it's cheap enough. Yeah. So he's a nice old guy to, to work with. There, known him pretty much all my life. So. Anyhow, uh, snort that heat back here, man. Uh, the other nice thing is uh, I got paid super duper today. So not only did I get some free club soda and Diet Pepsis, uh, but uh, I got an extra $40 as a Christmas gift from my, my client. How sweet, right? And uh, But she paid me for today, plus uh, to get halfway through, because I, like, I still take care of the place while, while they're gone, right? Or while she's gone right and what I do is uh, I take care of the place so she gave me a little bit of money in advance so that's nice too so that gets me into uh, uh, May about half of May I'll have half of May's expenses covered so I only have to make another month and a half of expenses of living expenses and then I'll be covered till June that'd be awesome oh it's a boat good boat yeah so that's pretty good pop cans yesterday paid well today the 21st couple of days till Christmas celebrate celebrate the little baby Jesus and um, get lots of turkey 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 coma turkey coma looking forward to my turkey turkey coma coma oh yeah who isn't who isn't Dooley who's this they got going on here oh some trees some tree falls oh they're back now holy jeez they're just getting to that now holy jeez they, they weren't kidding when they said they were back that's tree falling guys I can be doing stuff like that right now if I do a tree trimming service uh, I, 
because I'm, I'm not in the city where the big money is, I'll probably, like, if I do stuff by the hour, it'll probably be 65 an hour. I think that's reasonable, and that, that'll include everything, you know, except for a haul away. Like, if I have to haul branches away uh, with the truck, well, then obviously you're going to pay the fuel of the truck. See, a lot of people want a set price, and a lot of these things, you know, you try to explain to people, it's like, it's not really, you know, it's not easy to do that, because uh, what you have to do is be very strict with your contract, and make it very clear to the people that you're, and most people are pretty good, but you say, like, look, uh, in order for me to make money, we have to agree on what I'm going to do. Like, I'm going to cut this tree down, and if there's a few trees around it that i got to clean up to get whatever, well, I'll add that into the price. Uh, but I'm not going to, like, cut this down. Oh, no, oh, while wow, you're at it, can you cut that, cut that? And then it, then I don't make any money, right? And that happens to a lot of people. Now, when you got a regular client, you don't bite the hand to feed, so you don't charge them that kind of prices, right? You charge them your normal prices which for me is $20 an hour. Hopefully next year everything will be $25 an hour. Uh, it just, you know, i got to keep with the times, right? Um, and if that's the case, if that, is the, if that is the case, what I'll probably do is, if I do get this other chainsaw, it is old, but that, that'll, uh, you know, I need a big chainsaw. Like, there's those, you know, just for my regular client that I'm coming out of there now, like, just for her, like, there's always big-ass trees down that or trees that have fallen. Uh, I, you know, I, cu I cut wood for her, uh, you know, like, you know, like, she doesn't burn a lot. She maybe burns four or five quarts a year, if that, you know what I mean? Um, you know, it's just a little cast-iron stove, a nanny stove, right? So it's uh, not like, um, it, it's, it's not like, uh, you know, like my place where we go through, like, 18 cord of wood, you know, 14 to 18 cord of wood, depending on how harsh the winter is. Sometimes 22 cord of wood. Right? That's about what I we go through. Now we do time good. Uh, so like you know, like anytime a tree falls down, I cut it up. Especially like those more smaller trees around the 6 inch size. Those are like perfect size. You split them in half and everything's perfect. Like it just fits right in that little stove perfect, right? Uh, there's no big blocks there. She has a chimney, but she doesn't use that much. You know, um, yeah, they, they never did. Like, you, even when her husband was alive, like, he, he rarely used it. Like, you know, when, when people come over maybe for Christmas or something like that, whew, that's getting hot. Uh, maybe they, they do a little bit of that, but most of the time, no. Right, it's basically just that little cast iron stove, and they have electric heat for most of the part, you know, the rest of the house. Whereas another client I used to have, he'd burn like 60, 80 cord of wood a year just to watch it burn. He had three fireplaces, and mind you, it was like a mansion, right? And uh, he had like an oil furnace, he had a, a regular wood furnace in the basement, and electric heat. So he just mainly had the fire, not for heat, just for show. And he loved burning birch. He just loved burning birch, right? And uh, yeah, 60 cord a year. <laughs> Speaking of cord a year, there you go. That truck that just passed by, that's about what I burn a year. Maybe not quite that much, but just about that. Tandem load like that would be uh, just about the 16, 18 cord. There's the gas guy. Benson's. Holy smokes, that's, that's like a freaking fire coming out of there today. Holy oh, jeez. Well, that's right. <laughs> it's like, why are my hands so hot? Oh, yes. Some fool went and put the heat rate on me. Who did that? Who did that? Yeah, okay, that's more normal. <laughs> I'm about to catch on fire there. Holy smokes. So, yeah, not a bad day. I, I hope my poor client uh, doesn't hit any weather going to Toronto there. That's a good seven hour drive for her, so hopefully it stays like this the whole way. And she just left, you know, like 10, 10.30. That's a, that's a long day. Now, Paul and I, we did that in a day, you know, well, not to Toronto, but to Owen Sound there and back. I was like a 14 hour, 16 hour day, whatever it was. It was a long day. But the weather wasn't great either, so. And the roads were slower, so. It was like in Ontario, like they're they drive at uh, what's she speed? <clears throat> Just saying. Uh, yeah. 
80 kilometers is wussy speed. Anyway, I'm not judging. I'm just, you know, I'm just saying. Let me put that down about there. I leave this. Here. All right, gotta go get my provisions for the day. <laughs>